What's up, Briefers? Welcome to another episode of Alex Poor Corals. I'm Alex Wilson. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly reefing series where I have dehydrated chicken manure to my reef aquariums. That's right, you heard it right, folks. This is where I'm adding chicken manure to my reef aquariums with acropora in them so everything could be dead. So come check out and learn from my mistakes as we go. So let's see what we got here today. All right, so here's the main display today. And with the algal, well, algal turf scrub, with the coral scrubber in it right there down there, that's right. Why, you probably heard of an algal turf scrubber. You probably heard of a Kato scrubber. You might have Kato or a Kato refugium. Why use Kato when you can use coral? It's so much funner, more fun. It's worth so much more in, in value and easy to do. If you have a refugium, all you have to do is remove your Kato and add some coral and you got an instant coral scrubber. I love it. There it is. Okay, going to the ugly phases down here in the coral scrubber. There it is. I got the fuzzy green mushrooms. I got some other mushrooms in there. I got the yellow tank down here cruising around for now, but looking forward to adding some more coral in here. I was going to add some of the new, uh, but what is it? The Australian light rock down here and stuff, but nope. I contaminated the rock yesterday. So it's over here in the new spot. Over here, new spot, Australian live rock. There it is. Probably gonna put a little Kessel light back on in there. And I put in there the Astrea snails too, so they can cruise around and eat the algae. I can see if I can get some of the coralline algae to start growing in there, besides the hair algae and the brown algae. And the alkalinity on this one was at about 10, so that's not too bad. Keep an eye on that one. And so the phosphate up here on the main display was at, um, went up to 19.1 parts per million and the phosphate was at 0 0.08 parts per million. So I went ahead and dosed that up to 0 0.2 parts per million nitrate and I know that it's coming down from there and the potassium on both of these systems I have now got it up to about 450 parts per million which is what my goal is to get it at 450 so you know I'm just testing that just uh, once a week and with the uh, bright well the potassium that I'm adding to the systems it's kind of a real slow um, tick up and tick down on that so it's kind of I could easily test that one weekly so far it seems to be just fine and so let's check out the corals and see what's going on there they are yellow tank still here still alive even though we still here wait a minute do we have velvet in here we just threw in two mandarins would you like the mandarins dude i know they speak mandarin we put them in here do they have velvet are you breathing normal he has no Skills, your respiration rate looks good. No sign of any white spots on him. He's out swimming around like normal. Everything looks good there. What about Ick? Maybe Ick? No. So I got these biota captive bred mandarins, and that's the whole the idea for me. The whole point of having captive bred saltwater fish is that you can, that they are relatively free of diseases and the main thing that I'm worried about is velvet number one number two ick forget to take care of those I don't really care about the rest of it well it's not, not as much of a worry but um, get those two take care of that so, and I could just dump them straight into the display no quarantine required at least in my opinion of course very few people are actually going to admit to that even by odor like oh go ahead and stick it in because then they feel like someone might try to hold them responsible about how old oh, somehow their system might have got contaminated 
and now and they had said it was safe and it wasn't and now they might be liable or something I don't know here's the clams and the gold ones kind of fell off his spot right there a little bit squirrel mouse is hanging out so let's come over here bubbles looking good take out my green slimer still there Pop extension is okay. And let's check out the Acanthophilia. Here he is, likes the corner. One idea might be to put on a tile, just like I put on the tile over here on the Helio Fungi. I really loves it on the tile, just great. I moved him over an inch back a couple days ago. He's cool, no problems doing that. That was nice and easy. And could do the same thing to the acanthophilia. I could put them on a tile as well. I haven't had the need to do so just yet, even though it kind of has an awkward round bottom to them. So might do that in the future, but it's just not pressing at the time. It seems to be okay. Uh, just kind of half in the crushed coral and half onto the rocks right there. But so yeah, I could stick a tile on there, maybe a little bit smaller. One on there, and he's gonna get a lot bigger though too. So at least for now, it's okay. Should fill into that space nicely. Get the Ganyo pore over here. They opened up a little bit. Got the red one over here. It's just closed up. Keep an eye on these guys. I gotta put some shade on them. All right, so let's check out the coral quarantine system. Here it is, coral quarantine system. Got, oh yeah, those chicken manure as well to the main display. 16, 16th of a teaspoon of chicken manure to the main display. Meanwhile, this one, the uh, alkalinity is right at all. It's at 8.9. I've got my, my nitrates are at 11.5. And uh, I have my phosphates in here at, or at up a little bit to... 0.22 parts per million so right where I want to be at and it should be pulling down from there I'm also dosing the no parks by Red Sea carbon dosing and doing that on the lowest uh, level to give it just a slight pull down on the nutrients was just what I want so that way I can keep it right in the range where I want it I can add a little bit of uh, food to these guys and keep it right not too high but not too low and the corals in here are still alive can't believe it Abe's corals over here at Coral Euphoria let's check them out are they still alive look into it they got color looking good I got right this is the nuclear green Millie and it's looking pretty cool and it's got these distinctive uh, purple frag bugs that uh, Ape is using over here at Coral Euphoria. So they're okay so far, pretty good. Looking fox flame right there. Got the that's the um key lime key lime in the sky. Lime in the sky. Lime in the sky. Got the pink Floyd. Pink Floyd nub right there. And uh, Red Robin. And let's check out the unique Key Lime Pie right there. A little bit more pop extension on. I'm trying to get a little fuzzy. Looking pretty good. Check them out in the next day. Hopefully it'll be okay. And got the Green Millie Porous over here. Looking good. Princess Peach. And the rainbow splice there he is can't believe it still alive still got polyp extension got my fingers crossed there <laughs> and a hole and my whole wallet what else do we got over here and you got the Walt Disney and home wrecker okay up here I got this is the red devil Jason Fox, nice colors. Let's check out these guys over here. Okay, got the firecracker there. There he is, doing good so far. Got the blue ogre tort, moved him there. 
Now I've got the Frankenberry. It's doing okay there. And green table. Get a close up of the bonsai. It's gotten some pretty good polyp extension there on the bonsai. A little green polyps. And so let's see what else do we got over here. Let's check out the side view. Oh yeah, and I also forgot. Got green bolly slime right here. There he is. Authentic green bolly slimer from a bad core euphoria. So there he is. This one did pop off his base right there. But I just stuck him back right in there with a little bit of super glue. Almost put him on a different plug. But I thought, nah, let's go ahead and use a plug because I went ahead and just used the same plugs. Of course, what I did is I dipped them for one minute in the um, food grade hydrogen peroxide. Hit them instead of putting on brand new plugs. I just uh, went ahead and did that. It's a lot easier, although it's not a hundred percent way of uh, uh, preventing any of the pests and things from, from coming in on the old plugs but generally that's what I try to do because it's easier and because I want to be a little easier on the coral and hack them up too bad straight from the beginning anyway anyway there's the green poly slimer he's got a little bit of a lighter tip to him on the top one of my favorites the green on him is just unparalleled just about makes everything else look pale green and oh yeah so that's the blue bolly slimer right there blue bolly slimer and then we got the green bolly slimer at least according to top shelf aquatics so there it is and this one here is the firecracker table so there he is doing good. And then this one is the Tierra del Fuego or Tierra del Fuego. Of course, there it is. Look crazy with the red and green highlights on them. And what's this one? This is the pink lemonade. All right, guys. Well, let's see. I guess that's it for today. But check back for the next episode because they could be all dead. I have no idea. I'm out of my mind over here trying like crazy things i don't even know things are gonna work just like experimental stuff i must be just like crazy it's because i'm crazy that's the thing crazy stuff here coming out of a crazy person all right guys happy reefing check you next time bye